that is Brussels sprouts and Brussels bacon. We had this before. Brussels sprouts are like tiny cabbages. Makes a great meal if you just have some bacon. Just need a little something else to kind of make it feel like a meal. Last time we had it, it was a little Brussels sprouty, wasn't it? Which means it tastes a lot like earth. When you say it's stronger than cabbage, cabbage is more neutral. But I think we neutralized that today with two tablespoons of uh, maple syrup spread around in it, and it took the edge off. Mm -hmm. It's good. Oh, mom, but this is the test. He ate his. You ate your Brussels sprouts? Yeah. Did you like them? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What about you? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got one. Did you like them? Yeah. I bet they're better than last time, though, right? You liked them? He says yes, but they're all still there. Actions speak louder than words, Mr. Brown. I ate this one right here. Oh, my word. This is why I live in Asheville, North Carolina. It's cold enough to feel the winter every once in a while, but then you get days like this. We're just in our shirts. We've had a great day working in there in the morning. I'm launching an inter introduction to permaculture course. I'm putting that in my do-it-yourself abundant member area, but I'm also giving away the first three lessons. You don't have to be in the member area for that, giving away the first three lessons. First lesson went out to my email list. It's going good, people are really enjoying it. Announced that yesterday in the vlog. You guys can go ahead and sign up for that now. Now to the favorite part of the day. Afternoon chore time. You guys ready? Let's get Violet in here. I've got a trick. I've got a trick to help us get her in that stanchion. You guys ready for it? I'm gonna go over that stump, okay? Okay. Put it up there, buddy. Oh, are you gonna bring, um, are you gonna bring... In yesterday's lesson, we talked about what is permaculture, but more importantly, we talked about what permaculture will do for you. Basically, part of the definition is working with nature rather than against it. And I've been trying to, so I looked over my show notes and I said, how can I learn for myself from my own teaching and, and with some of my problems? I'm having a problem getting uh, Violet in that stanchion. Well, how can I work with nature rather than against it, getting Violet in that stanchion? You wanna know? How can I do it, Josiah? <laughs> you said that right at the right time. Yeah, right yes. when I saw it. Naturally, she wants something to eat. So, let's give her something to eat for getting in that stanchion. Let's try the call. Shagas, you want to do it? Can you call? Shagas. Shagas. You want to be the, uh... You want to be the at least third generation to call the cows that way? You stick with me, you'll be safe, okay? Okay. Stick up here with me. This is today's paddock. They're going in there tomorrow. Again, working with nature. What would cattle do in nature? They move, they graze an area, move on. It has time to rest and recover. And it actually ends up being way more productive. Up to five times as productive. They don't see the opening. Come here. Yeah, stay between me and Sunday. All right, come on, guys. Come on, guys. You don't have to go over that. Right. Stud Muffin is still way back there. He didn't come. It'd actually probably be okay if he didn't because then we wouldn't have to put up this lane since we can just walk her. That's better. Okay, sweetie. Now we're gonna give you a good rub down. Yeah. Good job. And you get an apple. Okay, here. So already after just three days, she was better getting in there. I mean, once she stepped on the platform, she walked through the head gate. Oh, here we go, here we go. Put it right there. This, where Jonah is, towards her. All right. 
Right. Now, give her that apple. There you go, honey. Okay. It's like bobbing for apples. Okay, can you get her a feed pan? She's having a hard time getting a hold of that. Okay, yeah. There she got it. <laughs> Yay, reward! Now you're gonna get in here a little easier tomorrow, aren't you? She's looking for more. Here you go, sweetie. There you go. Oh, she's figuring that out. Here, you got her feed pan, here. See if she'll eat that. Oh, yeah, that helped her a lot, Josiah. I am so excited this worked. That would never work with Willow. She never would eat an apple. But you will, won't you? Okay, get her some hay. We want her to say, good things happen when I step into this strange wooden structure. Good things happen. Oh, wow, thank you, Josiah. You're being so helpful. Yeah, just put it on the wood. <laughs> It is kind of wicked, you see? Yeah. That, this got locked, and then this. We're gonna let her chill in there. We're gonna let her just get used to staying in there. Gave her a little bit of hay. Let's uh, do some things with the chickens. You got your egg basket? All right, go ahead. Let's check the eggs. You guys think that they have any? Oh, yeah. Uh, they left. Hang on. There's one. Let's look deeper. Oh, look, just a. Uh, Whoa! Oh my gosh. Look, we've scored, guys. Oh, and there's one here. A special thanks to the previous owners. I mean, this just brings me tears of joy because you gave us so much, giving us adult birds. They had been non-GMO. They're tilling, they're fertilizing, and now they're giving us eggs. That's precious. That's priceless. Thank you. You know what this means? We can have sweet potato hash tomorrow with eggs. Eggs are back on the menu, guys. Another quick lesson from yesterday's video. You guys can get that right there down in the description on permaculture and what can it do for you. The ultimate goal is to be economical and ecological sound and eventually be sustainable, okay? That would be the end goal. So first thing to do is lessen your energy consumption. With chickens, here's some ways I've done that. First, they produce food like eggs on site so we don't have to go get it. They do an outstanding job tilling. In this case, they're spreading compost and tilling the ground over here, getting this garden ready. I don't have to have a machine tiller. Also look, a very subtle thing, a mobile coop. Look, I can have the chickens in here prepping this garden and then I can move them over there, prep that garden over there. I just have all kinds of possibilities when my coops are mobile and I don't have to have as many coops. A way to reduce energy among your chicken systems is soaked feed. Oh my gosh, guys, I give them their daily allowance and they're not even eating that. And they're giving me eggs and tilling, they're not even eating, there's quite a bit left over. That soaked food makes it go really far. Sorry. Grab this, guys, grab this. Bring it over here and dump it in the grass. We'll encourage them to till. Spread it out good, good. That will encourage them to till, but interesting, they would rather have what they're finding here. They're picking up little, little, little microscopic stuff we can't even see. Look, they're eating. We don't even know what they're eating. And last thing I'll say about this system, this chicken system and saving us energy is I'm creating an on-site forage system. Once they leave here, we're actually gonna plant cover crops that are edible to them and incidentally edible to us. And we'll bring the chickens back in to take that down, pl uh, prep it, plant produce, take the chickens out, back in to eat the produce. Do you see the trend here? We're growing our own chicken feed. Eggs are back, yum, eggs are back. Yum, yum, sweet, yum. sweet potato hash with eggs are back. <laughs> sweet potato hash with eggs are back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go Quick, there. somebody do a dance. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> the egg dance. Come on, this side. Come on. Oh, we got the egg dance going. <laughs> Let me show you guys how to do the chicken dance. There's okay. three moves. There's three moves. First, the flap. You go flap the wings, okay? And then, the scratch. And then the peck. Okay, ready? Dance. Okay, now add the scratch. Flap and scratch, flap and scratch. Flap and scratch, real hard. Now peg, now peg. <laughs> okay, can you tell we're excited to have the eggs back? All right, all right, all right, Violet. Let's go back out to the boyfriend. Getting around, going to see the boyfriend. Let's get some fresh grass, too. 
Oh look, she's running to her boyfriend. I want to grab a pole? Yep. All right, grab a pole and go under this fence. Go under it. I don't remember if I turned it off. Oh, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> it won't kill him. He'll just never do that again. Yeah, that's a wet spot. Okay class, what would permaculture say to do with this wet spot? Come on. Build a pond. Fish are more uh, energy efficient than cow. Did you know that? For protein? All right, we gotta get across here and put our cross fence up, guys. Josiah, you put your pole all the way in at the end. You guys are something else. Don't come up. All right, come on, buddy. I put it in. Okay, put it in right here. There you go, cowgirl. We're gonna start it over here. Uh, over here. Moving cows is so easy, the kids can do it. That would not hurt. That would not hurt, Papa. There you go. Good. Oh, wow. Whoa, don't hit that fence. It's on. Connect it tight, okay? Now hang that spool on yeah, top of it. Yeah, what about that low fence? Don't hit it. They won't go over it. You sure? Yeah. Okay, now we electrify that cross fence. Okay, you guys go on that way and out. Go with, go with Jonah. Can I stay with you, Papa? Sure. Go. Jonah, keep, take, get in with you. Okay, undo this one. Shouldn't be hot now that it's unhooked. All right, Jonah, just uh, stick with me. Okay. They're gonna come right through. Whoop. Come on, she gaps, she gaps. All right, there they go. So long, guys. All right, everybody's back. We got one more thing to do today, guys. Okay, what is it? Cover, continually cover Mother Nature. Let's continue to spread the wood chips. You and Josiah are gonna do this? What? Yeah, okay, where are the pitchforks? Over there. Okay. Oh, look, guys, our ploy worked. They're over here scratching and tilling where it needs it the most because of that feed. All right, who's who? I'll take the big one. Give, give you and Frodo. This is the classic farm with a pitchfork. Oh, Buffy. Pitchfork. Yeah, I guess so. Especially on this farm, huh? Yeah. Our number one hand tool, pitchfork. pitchfork. Oh, look. You going to come out and work today? I am. Come out to Earth Gym? Earth Gym. Okay, wait. We got to move the chick attractor down. All right, just come on. Come on, show her. Mom. Eggs. Wow. What does that mean to you, Beck? <laughs> It means we'll have an, it's, it's just awesome. It's we'll have so, it tomorrow with breakfast. It's so nice to have like our own food. It's been so long. I want to cry. I guess that's that's our first own food. Our own food. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. I mean, and it's not really our own food because I mean, it, <laughs> no, no, really. We kind of cheated on that, but okay. It's a family fair. Every day is bring your family to work day on the farm. <laughs> 